good evening and welcome to Winnipeg yeah I thought we'd uh, work a little bit on our E3s here it looks like there is a total of eight of them all together and we do need four for this piece and it could be that this piece also takes four I don't know We're, we obviously have eight all together so uh, uh, all right, let's just re let's recompose here a little bit. Now that I look at the part, this is actually the first time I'm looking at the part. I can see how it's supposed to fold, and how it is supposed to stick on the side of the of the superstructure. So let, let's just recompose a little bit, and uh, actually quite a little bit. We'll put the macro lens on and see if we can carefully nip a couple of these off. I'll do the rest off camera though. Okay, I haven't fastened this down with masking tape like I usually do, so uh, I have to be careful I don't slide it when I put the pressure on. Okay, got that one loose. I'm going to get them later. Let's do one more. Okay, the rest of them I'm going to do off camera. Okay, we'll set this down right here where we got a little drop of paint on our cloth. There's something I want to show you. You can see the folding lines there. Now, because we want to fold this towards the folding lines, that means that I'm going to have to place it, you might say almost upside down, because I'm going to want this side to be out because we have to fold these little tabs these tabs here on the ends they, they fold up and they actually go against the side of the superstructure that's going to be interesting to try and do I wonder if Andy's photo etch bender is going to be able to catch on these oh well, I guess we'll soon know won't we Okay, the idea is they should paint up nice on the rotator here. You know, I'm kind of wondering though, maybe I should put a little piece of tape on here because this could start flapping if the uh, spray got underneath there. Now, you know, we, we've got quite a bit of room here left to put uh, more small stuff. And uh, we need at least three more J12s for step 15 and 16. I don't see any place on seven, on 17 where they have to go. But um, yeah, let's get our J12s and stick them down here as well. Now I think I remember hearing myself say J12. I meant uh, E12. And there's a total of four of them all together. And they look like the sort of thing that I could accidentally bend. I'm not careful here, so let's not get too exuberant with our cutter. Okay, and we'll get those onto our rotating box. It doesn't want to stick down too good, does it? Well, maybe it will. Okay. Now let's try and keep this in a nice safe place until uh, spray time. 
In an earlier episode, I had been talking about those red and green tanks, and I was mentioning that I was wondering if they were still on the Iowa today. So I went and I found where somebody had done a walking tour, and he had actually caught a glimpse of them. And if we uh, stop the uh, video, uh, yeah, we sort of get a look at them. Now, I never did see any red ones, but doesn't mean that they weren't there. Uh, I probably just scrubbed right past them, or maybe they weren't there. Anyway, I thought this is kind of interesting. Now, envision a turret sitting right here. And the guns were aim are aiming out this way. Now that shot that we just saw of the real Iowa, I believe the gentleman, or well, maybe it was a gal, was standing right there, looking this way, and those tanks were mounted right there. So that's where it was on the on the real ship, uh, and you can see these holes here, uh, you know, where we're going to be mounting similar tanks. Um. Anyway, what do we got here? Okay, we got uh, 755. I'm going to call her quits for this evening. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you in the next episode. <laughs>